Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, I'm talking about how this is kind of a transitional sort of day, and what I mean by that is how we started off very mild. This comes as, again, we've been uh, having some very hot days as of late, very unseasonable warmth, but later this afternoon, really not seeing much of a change in our temperatures at all, and this comes as a cold front continues to push through the area, but going back to this morning with that very mild start, some of us also saw just a couple sprinkles, but as we've said a couple times throughout the course of about the past month, can kind of get the ground a little wetter with a garden hose. But temperatures, again, were mostly into the upper 60s. Some places managed to stay in the 70s this morning, and this comes as we had some cloud cover and we had those winds that were breezy out of the south. And there's a look at uh, 67 was the low in Eau Claire and 69 was the low in La Crosse. Now, again, we did have some cloud cover, but we're starting to see a few more breaks in those clouds. A lot of us are staying dry for now, and we may even see a few more breaks in the clouds develop and get in on a little bit more sunshine as this drier air has wedged its way in towards western Wisconsin. Otherwise, again, our temperature is pretty much going to remain stagnant through the afternoon with a few more peaks of sunshine. But look towards the bottom of your screen and see some of those winds still sustained between 10 to 20 miles per hour as they do take on a bit more of a westerly flow. But behind this cold front, well, that's where you can see those temperatures that are mostly into the 60s, couple places even staying in the 50s towards northwestern Minnesota. But out ahead of that front, that's where we still have temperatures that are in the upper 70s and even low 80s, 82 in Chicago. Meanwhile, here in Eau Claire at 69. Let's zoom in a little closer to home. Other places towards the northwestern part of the viewing area in the lower 60s. Osceola has been holding on to 63 degrees for quite some time. Areas to the south, though, still into the low 70s. And this comes as about a, a 5 to 15 degree temperature change. And those uh, temperature changes are a little bit more drastic, a little further towards the northwest. But winds have taken on a bit more of a westerly orientation. A lot of us still between 10 to 15 miles per hour for now. And again, while we do have this cloud cover, most areas staying dry, just a couple sprinkles towards I-35 moving into far northwestern Wisconsin. And this is a look at our upper level flow just to show a little further that here in western Wisconsin, we're still kind of stuck in the middle between that cooler air that's been moving in towards the north central part of the nation and that warmer air that's not too far to our east. But what we can expect for the rest of the afternoon, Skycast may be underdoing the cloud cover just a bit here. I still am expecting these clouds to clear out by tonight. And that's going to give us a chillier start to tomorrow morning. But then we'll start to see another quick batch of cloud cover roll in. Could lead to just a stray shower uh, early on, towards the latter half of the morning and early afternoon, I should say. But then we get in on a bit more sunshine. Then looking ahead to tomorrow night into Friday morning, that's where we'll start to see another batch of clouds move in yet again. But this time, this will bring us our best chance at some showers. As you can see, this is a lot more widespread going into Friday afternoon. Our highs today expect to hang out mostly in the 60s and 70s, much cooler than we've seen over the last couple of days, but that is still above average before tonight. A lot of us will be dipping into the 40s. There's just a handful of spots that'll stay in the lower 50s, and we continue on with this cooling trend throughout the rest of the work week, with highs on Friday and Saturday struggling to escape the 40s and overnight lows into the upper 30s before we get a little closer towards average to the start of next week as temperatures return to the low 60s by Tuesday. Now for a Sunshine Award, Dave and Lisa would like to nominate Diane Bush and says we'd like to nominate Diane for the Sunshine Award because Diane is not just our mom's caregiver, she has become family. Mom, along with all of us, are truly blessed with Diane. She goes over and above each and every day. Thank you and we love you and appreciate you so much. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. Well, the beautiful fall colors are out, but it sounds like we're finally getting to those fall temps, Mike. Yeah, I was going to say, the fall colors have been out. It was a great time for some of those uh, photo shoots, but now we're starting to feel a little bit more like fall. And, well, some of us really love that sweater weather, and I may include myself in that category. Definitely me too. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Mm -hmm.